Electron is a very interesting uh, question because many people ask whether we should uh, still develop uh, desktop applications using Electron. Of course, there are lots of alternatives. For example, Tauri. There is uh, one thing that helps Electron a lot. It's uh, basically JavaScript. If we have JavaScript developers, who knows uh, a React and they can just jump into Electron, just learn a little bit about Electron uh, and uh, develop uh, basically immediately a uh, desktop application. From client's perspective, it means that if we are experts in JavaScript and React, uh, we are also almost immediately experts in Electron. If uh, it is uh, much simpler for us, uh, basically it's also much simpler for client, client because we are delivering uh, constantly a value. Basically speaking about Electron, I think one of the advantages is uh, their community. It's much simpler to find solutions to our problems uh, we found on our projects than uh, in alternatives. Of course, it's changing a lot. Alternatives are still developing, but I think uh, the, the Electron is uh, much ahead and uh, yeah, it basically just translates to delivering value. If you can fi easily find uh, solutions, then we can develop much faster our products. So that's why I think Electron is still more more stable solution than other uh, al alternatives. So it depends on the number of hardware integrations you want to do right now. Obviously, it's changing the way you are delivering this application. So with the hardware, we can't perform uh, without the Electron bridge with Node.js and some bindings, native bindings. So it depends obviously, but in most cases we are starting from proposing the client-side application or progressive web uh, apps. So they are staying in the browser. These applications look like and feel like desktop applications, but they are not really integrating with the hardware because they can't. So. If you are selecting Progressive Web App and you are use, just using the uh, Chrome browser, you are relying on the web uh, APIs. With the, the number of such APIs is obviously growing, but it's limited to the browser in most cases. And uh, then if you need to create some highly performant uh, bar uh, coding scanner or you want to do some stuff in the background. Popular these days, large language models, which you can embed in the browser, but in most cases you don't want. We are proposing to, to do the Electron app. This is the open question, it's worth to do it. The short answer is yes, the longer it depends. <laughs>